Hey guys, let's look at order of operations with fractions today. And, you know, order of operations don't change. You still do parentheses and symbols of inclusion like brackets first. Then you do exponents and square roots. Then you multiply and divide left to right. Then you add and subtract left to right. Then you, you know, collapse with exhaustion. So, um, this is the same thing here. You're just going to do, I mean, it doesn't matter. You're still doing order of operations in the right way. Well, look at this. You've got a problem that has a plus and it has a division. Which one are we going to do first? You got to do division first, right? Because that's, that's, that's multiplying, dividing comes before adding and subtracting. So you just treat it just like you always would. So let's do it. So we got 3 twentieths plus 3 halves. Don't add these together. You mul we multiply and divide first. If you divide by 5 halves, that means you multiply by 2 fifths. Okay? So this is what you want to do first. Well, that's a piece of cake. That two gone out of there. That's going to be three times or three times one over one times five or three fifths, right? So this is our new problem: three twentieths plus three fifths. Well, let's find a common denominator. That's going to be twenty, of course. That'll turn into a twenty, and this will turn into a twelve. So three plus twelve is fifteen over twenty, and we reduce that. Of course, five goes into each one of those three times, and then four times. Here you go, piece of cake. Okay, try another one. Go ahead and pause and copy this down. Same old thing here. We're going to do this part first, right? And you, again, I would cancel this you know, before I did anything. So take the 10 and the 4 and go 2 goes in the 10 5 times, and then 2 goes in the 4 2 times. So this turns into, I'm just going to copy my 5 7th again, minus, and 1 times 2 is 2, and then 5 times 5 is 25. Is that good? Okay. Oh, what a disaster of a common denominator. There ain't nothing that goes into 7 and 25 except 7 times 25. Okay. All right. Well, let's just do it. 7 times 25. If you got 7 quarters, how much money do you have? $1.75. So, I multiplied this by 25. So, 5 times 25 is 125. Multiply this by 7. So, 2 times 7 is 14. And then 125 minus 14 is 111 over 175. Yuck. What a nasty fraction. Okay. All right. Try the practice problems on page 153. Pause it and try the first one. Okay. Well, we know what to do first. We've got to do this first. So we can just go ahead and go, you know, 9 sevenths minus, and then let's put a new fraction here. Uh, can't, you know, really chop anything down here. So I just got 15 on top and I got 14 on the bottom. Well, common denominator of 7 and 14 is going to be 14. So let's make the first one 14. 7 times 2, and then eight, 9 times 2 is 18. 18 minus 15 fourteenths is 3 fourteenths. There we go. Piece of cake. Okay. Try the second one. Pause it. Yuck. That's nasty. Well, I don't know. Let's make an estimate. About 4 times about 2 is about 8, right? 8 times 5 is 40. It's going to be a little more than that. I'd say maybe like 45 or something like that. Somewhere around there. I don't know. Just guessing. Okay. Well, let's turn this thing into something normal. 4 and a fifth, 21 fifths, plus... Oh, wait. Never mind. I just multiplied. That doesn't make any sense. Never mind. My, <laughs> I was multiplying the whole time. So let's say 4 plus... About 2 times 5 is about 10, about 14, 15. Okay, let's try it. Plus 2 and a third, that's 7 thirds, times 5. Let's just go 5 over 1. Okay, I'll stop right there. That makes sense? Okay, I just wrote these as improper fractions. There we go. Okay. Okie doke. Well, this is what we do first. Don't do this plus that first. That's not the right order of operations. So let's go 21 fifths again, re rewrite it, plus. 7 times 5, 35. 3 times 1, 3. Okay, now we got a nice common denominator. Obviously, it's going to be 15 here. Okay, 5 times 3, so 21 times 3 is 63. 3 times 5, so 35 times 5 is 175. So 63 plus 175 is 238 divided by 15. Okay. We guessed the answer was about, what would we say, 15-ish? 
and that is about 15. 15 into 238 is actually 15.86 and with a little more over it. So that's pretty close. Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Take care.